every Saturday around this time, we like to uh, go into the WDBO app and listen to some of the open mics y'all have left. And Larry, I'm not sure if this one's quite a car question, but maybe you can answer. Let's see. Let's see if you got any ideas about this. Larry, I have a generator. I want to drain all the gas out of it, and I have Lucas um, uh, cylinder cleaner. I put my gas tank. Uh, could, uh, you think I should put that in too and just let it run out of gas to preserve everything? Okay, Stan from uh, Davenport. Thanks. You know a lot about oil, but I think he's a generator. So what do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I tell you what is really amazing. I mean, we're 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 fortunate. We've got a standby generator here at our house that runs off of propane. You know, so if the electric goes off, it automatically kicks on. Uh, but you know, the thing is, you only got so much. Propane, you know, if you run out of propane, uh, you know, then you're going to be up the creek without a paddle. So I've got another generator that we can also plug into the house, providing that there was a problem with the standby generator. It runs off of gasoline, of course. You know, the last time we'd used that, that one was, uh, I think, back in uh, 2017. And, you know, of course, I only put non-ethanol fuel in these things. Now, I was in the, um, under the impression that, you know, even though I ran all the gas out of that generator, I, you know, I shut the fuel off and ran it until it was completely empty. And I also put stable in it, which is a fuel stabilizer. And I said, well, you know, I better break that thing out and just see what I got. Now, I already knew this carburetor was probably junk, so I'd ordered one and had one standing by before the hurricane got here. So I figured I'd go ahead and replace it if I needed to. Well, I took the gas cap off of that thing, and I took a whiff of it, and I said, that gasoline smells as good as the last fuel I put in my truck. Uh, it was as fresh as the, I mean, five years that fuel has been sitting in that gas tank. And that fuel was just as, I mean, it smelled just as good as if I'd have put it in there yesterday. And that was by using, of course, the ethanol-free fuel. If it wasn't ethanol-free fuel, the well, shoot, it probably wouldn't have lasted six months, uh, even with stabilizer in it. But I went ahead and turned the fuel on. Uh, of course, I had to put the jump box on it. It's a big electric, you know, big uh, generator. So I put the jump box on it and hit the start button. It cranked over and fired up like I did. I'd shut it off yesterday. And I didn't even replace the carburetor on it. it. It worked absolutely fine. And I went ahead and tested it. And it was producing voltage without any problem. I'm like, well, I guess it's good to go. You know, so I left a trickle charger on it and charged the battery up. But luckily for us, we didn't have to use it. In your case, you know, um, if you've got anything in there other than, uh, you know, non-ethanol fuel, uh, I would tell you to get whatever's in there out and let it run until it completely shuts off. And if you've got any fuel stabilizer of any sort, you might want to trickle it in through there as well. But you want to run the engine until it dies all on its own. And that way, the less fuel that's in the carburation system, the better off you're going to be. But now, if you've got ethanol fuel, uh, you know, ethanol free fuel in the tank, I'm going to tell you, load it down with some stabilizer, and I wouldn't get rid of what's in there until probably, I'd leave it in there until probably the end of November, maybe the end of December, and then remove the fuel out of the generator. Because um, we don't know what else we're going to get the rest of this year. And, you know, we've had some, over the over the years and the whole scheme of things, we've had some very late, uh, you know, on end to November hurricanes. Uh, you know, hopefully we don't have to face anything like that as devastating as this was to the west coast of Florida. But uh, I'd leave it in there for a few more weeks. There's still a couple tropical disturbances here and there that you'll see on the weather, and you don't know when they're going to turn into a hurricane and maybe come this way. So let's hold off for maybe another month or two. That fuel's not going to go bad in, you know, by the end of December. Let's just hold off and wait until then. And if we don't get anything by the end of December, maybe after Christmas, we'll just take a little time, go out there and get all the fuel out of it. But make sure you turn the fuel off or whatever and run the, run the systems until they run out of gas. That's very, very, very important. I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the the open mic and uh, hopefully that not maybe helped you but maybe helped a few other folks out there wondering what to do as well.